Good morning and welcome to WSH News, your leading source for news at Summoner Time. I'm Carolyn Watson. And I'm Carlos Suarez. Today is Monday, January 23rd. We got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Every year, Dance Marathon raises money for children who have life-threatening illnesses. WSRH reporter Shayla Stillwagon has more on the story. I'm here with Ms. Ahmad. So I hear the Dance Marathon event is coming up soon. How can students get involved? Yes, our event is February 24th, and students can get involved by registering on our donor drive link um, and fundraising for the month of January so that they can come to the event. There is a registration uh, requirement. If you fundraise the first semester $20, then you're already um, registered and able to come in to the event on February 24th. We also hear there's a hospitality night tomorrow. How can students help with that event? Well, back to the registration question for the month of January, registration has gone up to $30. So those of you that are um, planning on attending, get out there, push your link online so that you can fundraise $30 um, and attend our event. We have a hospitality night tomorrow night at Chipotle on 441. So please stop by. And when you stop by, say Seminole Ridge so that we get uh, the percentage back from the hospitality night towards our cause. Any other events this week? Um, and yeah, and then there's a skate zone event where you and your friends can come. Uh, we're all going to be at Palm Beach Skate uh, this uh, Friday night from 7.30 to 10.30. Tickets are on sale in both lunches, um, so please see the kids at the back of the cafeteria to get your skate zone ticket. You do need to prepay if you come the night of Friday night, 7.30 to 10.30. Um, you do have to bring cash and pay before you go in, but it's going to be fun. Let's get our skates and skate for the kids. Thank you for taking our time to talk with us. For WSRH News, I'm Shayla Congratulations to our speech and debate team who placed on several categories at our competition in Martin County this weekend. Kyla Cartwright, first place, oral interpretation, and second place, dramatic performance. First place, public forum debate, Adelaide Adigar and Niles Sud. First place, Lincoln Douglas debate, Christian Noble. First place, duo interpretation, Braden Coop and Ryan Hansen. Fourth place, oral interpretation, Addison Hawkins. Third place, oral interpretation, Leo Lobo. Third place, duo interpretation, Anderson L. and Leo Lobo. Fourth place, duo interpretation, Olivia C. Persaud and Angelise Robles. Congratulations, everyone. There will be a blood drive tomorrow, Tuesday, January 24th, in the gym lobby. You must be 16 years old to participate and have a parental consent form signed. Anime Club will be having a meeting tomorrow, January 24th, from 3 to 4.30 in room 7110. Hey seniors, Grad Bash is April 28th, 2023. Contracts will be available soon and tickets go on sale February 7th. There will be only 200 tickets available, so please plan ahead. Prices are $150 cash or check. In order to attend, you must be classified as a senior and be graduation ready at the time of purchase. Graduation ready means you have at least a cumulative unweighted grade point average of 2.0, at least 20 recorded com community service hours, and no out of school suspensions and no monetary school obligations at the time of the ticket purchase. Interested in playing boys volleyball? Trials begin February 13th in the gym. You must have your completed activate form in in order to participate. If you have any questions, please see Coach Barnwell. If you are interested in playing flag football this season, please meet in Portable 1 Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 4 p.m. until tryouts. To be able to participate, you must have only you must have your Activate completed. The girls lacrosse team has some high expectations this year and are looking forward to some new players. Trials will be today, January 23rd and 24th on the practice field at 4 p.m. You must have your Activate completed to come out. The girls won't be the only ones playing lacrosse this year. Seminole Ridge is officially starting a boys lacrosse team this year. Tryouts are today, January 23rd. You must have your Activate Athletic Eligibility completed to try out. If you have any questions, see Coach Waddington. Softball tryouts begin today, January 23rd at 3.05 p.m. Please meet at the softball field and tryouts will end at 5.15 p.m. You must have a completed Activate status to participate. Please join the Google Classroom with the code ZEXAES3 and see Coach Navarro with any questions. For those who intend on trying out for baseball, official tryouts begin today. Monday, January 23rd will be catchers and pitchers. Workout today, Tuesday, January 24th will be all position players. If you have any questions, please see Coach C in room 3205. Coming up on WSRH News, weather. Plus, birthdays and sports.
What falls but never hits the ground, Carolyn? What? The temperature. Let's go to WSRH meteorologist Anthony Menendez with today's forecast. Hey, good morning, Rox. Today's weather forecast, we have a high of 82 with a low of 69 with partly cloudy skies. And for the three-day weather forecast, on Tuesday, we have a high of 77 with a low of 72 with partly cloudy skies. And on Wednesday, we have a high of 81 with a low of 69 with partly cloudy skies. And on Thursday, we have a high of 79 with a low of 59 with scattered showers. For WSRH weather, I'm Anthony Menendez. We have a happy birthday going out to Emily McKenzie, Valentina P., Sina D, Resap, Nelson R. Happy birthday. WS Street Sports Anger, Savannah Mazio joins us now at the sports desk. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Savannah Mazio, and I've got a lot to tell you about today's sports. So let's get right into it. Our girls' varsity soccer team had an amazing season. For the first time ever, they had an undefeated season. WS Street Sports reporter Paris Watson has the story. I'm still a coach in girls' soccer. So, I heard you guys are undefeated. Who are your star players? Um, my star players, um, that's tough, I think. Um, I guess in terms of, like, stats, because, you know, they're always on there. Um, like, Lola, Lola, Augusto, Roxy Brewer, Lucy Single. But, um, I mean, there's girls who don't get on the on the sheet score um on the, on the score sheet because they're defenders but um you know alexa hernandez um brie jones ali um andrade my defenders are really good um anaya thomas really like the whole team man but i mean in terms of um stats um definitely all the forwards are like the stars when's your next playoff game and how do you think you'll do Playoff game is uh, next Monday, January 30th. Um, I think we should be good. I think if we come out, um, play like we like we should, like we know how to play, um, I think we should win. Okay, thank you for taking time to speak with us. For WSRH News, I'm Paris Watson. This past weekend, the Hawks competition cheer team had a regional competition. Out Hawks came with a win, moving them on to the next competition. WSRH sports reporter Dakota Parks has more on the story. Our competition cheer team went to regionals this past weekend, and I'm here with Miss Ligavoli to find out how it went. So, Miss Ligavoli, what did you guys place? We took first place in the large co-ed division. And how do you think you did overall? Overall, we did a fantastic job. We hit our routine. Um, very exciting. We put on a show. Everyone loved watching us. Uh, from a perspective of going to states, we have some work cut out for us. We're going against literally the top team in the country, uh, Bartow High School. So we've got some work cut out for us to be competitive with them. I do believe we can take them out. Uh, as long as the kids buy in and are ready to come and work these last five practices, I think we're going to do great. And when's the next performance? Uh, so we are going to have a showcase next Thursday, the second, the day before we leave for states. So in the cafeteria at four o'clock. Uh, we'd love everybody to come, teachers, staff, students, families, everybody. And then we compete next, not next Saturday, yes, next Saturday, uh, February 3rd. Uh, we don't have times yet, but it's up in Gainesville at the University of Florida. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. And with WSRH News, I'm Dakota Parks. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, boys varsity basketball against Dreyfus at home at 6 p.m. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Savannah Mazio. Well, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Carlos Suarez. And I'm Carolyn Watson. Remember that you can follow us on all social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, at Summer TV. Have a great day, Hawks.